Okay, so this is the crash course to set up uh, the project so you can do recording. So I'm going to set up a blank and I'm going to put all this starter content desktop. Now, what's going to happen is if you want to learn more uh, in detail, go to the YouTube channel because I'm going to go quickly so everybody can kind of see uh, what this is about. So I'll go virtual production three, I guess. Click create. I could use this regular background, but I'm going to go and create a, a new uh, level. So, uh, how do you do that? Basically, file, new level. I'm going to create an empty level. And as you know, you are you must save it. Save parent as. I'll call it level virtual production. P there. Save. Um, now I'm going to go and assume you haven't set this up. I'm going to go under rendering and enable the HDRI backdrop. And again, you don't have to use this technique. I just think this is a quicker way. Uh, I have to restart the uh, computer, so I'll do that right now. Make sure to save before. I'm just going to open up my level. As you're going to see, it's blank. Uh, now what I'm going to do is go to uh, lights i've added this plugin in so i'll drag that in as you can see it's pretty good you, there's a couple that are included you could switch around i'm going to just leave it that way the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to create a folder for my um, uh, animations or models I'll, open, I'll click this and if you recall if you go to the video you'll see that under mixamo i use this archer and I'm going to just use that animation, download, uh, just go to Mixamo, use your school account, it works, and uh, I'll down, download this model, it'll take a few seconds, it'll drop, and I'm going to go and re-upload it in Google Classroom. I meant Unreal Engine, and I'm not going to do proper file management and so on, uh, I talk about that in my YouTube channel. So again, here really important that you use animated time. So uh, as long as that's done, and I'm only bringing in one animation. In some of my YouTube channel playlists, I show you how to bring in several animations. So I'll take a few minutes. All right, so I'm going to bring in the model. I'm going to press F and press uh, E, rotate, press W raise it so I'm pretty happy with that um, I'm not I'm not using the same scene as I do in the, uh, the YouTube channel um, I'm gonna set up the scene as well so using the starter content uh, I'm gonna go right away and get the, uh, the particle effects so let's get some smoke and so on again a lot of these are available in the unreal marketplace and that's really the best place to get stuff uh, until you're more familiar with uh, the software um, I would recommend that you just do that. All right. So I'm going to just click and add these. And that one's below the ground. Just not put too much. Um, now I'm going to do a little bit of post processing, which I talked about in uh, my videos as well. And again, there's a lot to that, but uh, you should uh, start with uh, going through the videos that I've shown. There's a lot out there on sequencer and truth is Unreal Engine is massive and that's part of the problem where sometimes it's hard to figure stuff out and my goal is to try to give this in as condensed a form as possible. So I'm going to bring in a directional light and uh, it doesn't really matter where you put this in the scene but as you can see it creates shadows so if there is a sun in your scene you might want to pay attention to that. So I'll put the shadow back there. That's good enough. Um, I'm also going to add there's a, a few other things you could add under lights. You could also do the skylight, which fills in the shadows. Now there's no 3D objects in here, so probably this won't do much, but you can do some simple things like change the color and, and so on. Um, uh, play around with those. Again, look at the videos that go way more in detail. Uh, there's a lot of really cool stuff under visual effects that you can add, like atmospheric fog, sky atmosphere. I don't, a post-processing volume, which uh, is another way to do it. But most of this stuff is also uh, kind of like in a few places. I'll just leave it at this so we can kind of go quickly 
today, and that's a go goal is like a quick ba uh, ba mashup of how to do this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to already create our sequence. So I'm going to create a, uh, uh, I'm going to right click, I'm going to create an animation, and I'm going to go level sequence, and I'm going to call it quick job. Okay, I'm going to double click on that. And what I want to start by doing is creating a shot track, which for now, this is not that useful because we're not doing multiple animations, uh, but get in the habit of doing it right away. Okay, so, uh, and then what you can do is add extra shots. So you can insert extra shots. I'll, I'll make some, I haven't done this yet, but I will upload it soon to my playlist. And then the first thing that I want to do, and I, there's two ways to create camera. You can create a camera over here. But this camera is going to show up in all your scenes. So if you have multiple scenes, the best workflow is to really actually just click on this camera. Now you'll see there's a lightning bolt next to it. So in other words, this camera is only going to exist under this shot. So whenever I create a new shot, I got to bring in a new camera. Now that's kind of a better workflow because what happens is once you have multiple cameras, they start showing up in the scene and you film the other camera. You definitely don't want that. Okay. So that camera has been brought in. And then, as we already talked about, it's really important that you bring in the animation. Now, you may want to rename this, but since we're going quickly, I'm just going to drag this in. And just because I dragged it in, it's not yet animated. So I have to go and get the animation. So uh, under animation, there it is. If I only brought one animation, it's extremely simple. Uh, if I press play, you're going to see. Currently, this is the view. Uh, but what I actually want is the cinematic camera actor. Now, if I have several cameras in the scene, you can select between the several cameras. But again, this is meant to be simple. So here's that camera uh, now activated. And if I press play, let me just double check here. So press play. You'll see the animation. Okay. And now you can, we're going to do some quick uh, filming. Pause that. Okay, what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to move the camera. So I'll create a keyframe. There's a couple of ways. There's a hotkey S, but usually, depending on what I want to do, is I'll usually just click uh, the keyframe um, for uh, location. So you can click over here. And what I want to do is I'm going to move the camera forward uh, to zoom in on this actor. So I'm going to move the playhead over here. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and select the camera and as you know if you look at my playlist I kind of like having uh, the ability to see it in a different so let me just uh, is that one the best one so one of the tricks if you're looking for the camera if you just click on it here and you should be able to see it and uh, I'm just gonna rotate this and I'm gonna move it in and over here I can kind of see so I'll go like that and I'm kind of happy with that for this basic video. So uh, basically go over here, press play, and there you go. So I haven't, uh, now that, as you can see, the uh, focus is not that great. So the camera is selected. So there's a uh, few seconds. What I do is I just keep, put this on none, okay? And then you'll have a nice focus camera. If you, we're going to, I'm going to make some more videos about like what the tracking is very cool when you're moving your character, the camera will track it. And you can also set the focus to uh, focus on the tracking object. So there's all these powerful things. Manual is kind of like, you know, the real camera geeks amongst you guys who really like to, uh, you know, have uh, access to all these expensive lenses and so on and see how they look and how they interact. All those work inside this. So it's very cool. Lots of really powerful tools, all built in and all free for anybody who uses Unreal Engine. So again, if you uh, like this and you'd like to learn more, I really encourage you to go and look at the uh, more in-depth tutorials. And I try to cover different workflows, different ideas that you could explore to create your own uh, uh, productions for your students. All right. Thank you very much.